Every year around 9 lakh students appear for the JEE with the dream of pursuing engineering in India's top colleges. However, the IITs, NITs and IIITs collectively offer only 48000 seats, that too including all branches. This means that at some point of time, a student must make a trade off between branch and college selection. While this line might not apply to the top 1000 rankers, the rest have to consider this aspect to assist in this decision making process i will compare the two most demanding branches electronics and computer science so with the world progressing towards smart and easily accessible technologies at our fingertips the demand for increased computing power is inevitable this surge contains the launch of numerous new products the emergence of new businesses and entrepreneurs consequently the tech market will require a growing number of skilled engineers every day not only computer science graduates will be sought after but individuals with expertise in electronics and a blend of mechanical and electronics knowledge will also be in high demand this is precisely why some colleges like iit patna have begun offering mechatronics branches however that's discussion for another video let's delve into our main topic and that is electronics versus cse so the first question is what exactly is the computer science is it just coding well No, CSE is not just about coding. Coding is just a part of it. Cyber security, artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data, computer vision, computer networks, cloud computing, information systems, mobile computing and many more fall under this branch. So this branch offers a chance to excel in any of these fields. While coding is necessary, not all areas rely completely on it. Analytical thinking is crucial for software engineers to solve problems. CSE jobs requires knowledge of subject like computer architecture discrete mathematics and the most famous one dsa along with brilliant coding skills that's why my suggestion is choose a branch that aligns with the lifestyle you seek in the future jo aap raat mein imagine karte hain ki main aisi lifestyle mein rehna chahunga for instance if you prefer a desk bound job with a laptop trust me computer science will suit you it can offer work from home opportunities a luxury for some working remotely means waking up working at home spending time with family and earning six figure at the same time strolling in your own neighborhood jahan pe aapka bachpan beeta hai even if you don't like the work from home top mncs will still endorse office setups so that's your choice na if option is there then you can either opt for work from home or you may go for work from office so that's a win win situation for both mindsets hence computer science caters to those who want to solve complex analytical problems create solutions and it offers robust job opportunities in a high demand tech industry recession impacts may occur momentarily but Computer science won't saturate soon. That was a brief overview of computer science and its nature. Now let's explore our loved branch that is electronics and communication and then we will compare both these branches across various factors. ECE is often termed as the evergreen branch due to its comprehensive focus on both software and hardware aspects. It is undeniably challenging which requires mastery of advanced physics based subjects alongside algorithms and coding languages. ECE contains a vast array of subdomains such as signal processing, machine learning, VLSI, embedded communication and and electrical systems electives can be chosen based on individual interest offering options to delve deeper into core electronics or they also give a chance to shift towards computer science type jobs electronics students inherently learn computer architecture digital design and coding which provides them a flexibility to shift towards software jobs anytime deciding ec electives and making a curriculum for oneself requires a thorough understanding of myriad possibilities inside this domain and the electives should be chosen in a way that a student is perfectly aligned with his career goals now let's compare both branches and dispel some myths presenting an honest overview of both these fields first of all let's talk about complexity so no doubt ec encompasses subjects that perceived as more integrate yet for someone passionate about ec this complexity might not be felt and vice versa when we claim ec is more complex it typically results from a general perception and the level of hard work and dedication demanded by the subjects in this field this is why ec might seem more complex due to subjects like spml communication power electronics and emft now let's go to the scope or number of opportunities both fields ec and cec are very big and have great number of opportunities this would be increasing in near future as everything demands tech so no need to worry about a scope if you have good academics and trendy skills there will always a way to perform well in both of these fields 
As far as EC is concerned, the research and development is expanding and we really require skilled and talented engineers. If you can set yourself apart from crowd, then you will always be in demand. If I talk about current time, then CSE generally have more number of opportunities. They can be 3 LPA jobs or 25 LPA jobs, but the number of opportunities is currently higher in CSE. Now let's move to the third major factor and that's your salary or paycheck. To be honest, not everyone earns 6 figures or a 1 crore CTC. These figures can often be marketing tactics and only a few achieve such hype numbers that to mostly outside India. When compared with purchasing power parity, the 1 crore number tends to hover around 25 LPA CTC in India. So let's move to the realistic figures. Most jobs in both fields range between 4 to 10 LPA. However, cracking good product based companies in VLSI or Embedded can offer 20 plus CTC and around 15 plus base salary for freshers. Similarly, in CSE, freshers might receive 45 plus CTC with a similar base salary around 15 16, which is often supplemented by stocks to stress CTC 45 plus. You might wonder if these stocks are useful. So, I will say one thing if you remain in a company for a specific period, that's mostly 2 or 3 years, you can cash in those stocks and potentially receive a substantial amount. So, in this way, CSE can fetch very high packages in India inclusive of all stock benefits. Some of the VLSI companies like Qualcomm, Nvidia also offers stock to their employees. So, it's not that you can get that in ECE, it's just a little bit of effort. Because ECE is kind of research field. Let me say the same thing in English as well. ECE can also offer a good base salary along with core work, but it demands more hard work to enter top product based companies due to its complex research oriented nature of jobs. So, regarding salary growth, it depends on individual skills, performance and the company type. Service based companies typically offer 4 to 12 percent growth while product based companies can provide 8 to 20 percent. In exceptional cases or when someone switches from service based to product based, this growth percentage can soar up to 50 percent, 100 percent or 200 percent sometimes. And this aspect is completely the negotiation skill of an individual. So in this way, we have covered complexity, future scope, salary and growth for both the fields. And these are the aspects which usually create doubts. So now you can make a more informed decision. I will conclude with the line that don't just chase salary or don't just go behind your interest. Because if interest audited cheese mein hai, then that can also create problem. So analyze everything and take calculated risk based on your career and life goals.